Text Expander provides some really powerful tools for creating snippets here in the editing bar. The first two items here are date and time macros. A macro in Text Expander is a variable that will appear in the snippet when added. The information within them is going to change depending on certain factors. So let's make a date and time snippet. I'll start by adding the month, day, and year. The abbreviation I'm going to assign to this snippet is semicolon dt. That enters the correct date, but I didn't add any spaces or punctuation. So I need to go back into this snippet and add a space after the month, and then a comma and a space after the day. That looks better. Next, let's add a line below the date and enter the time. I'm going to add the hour 1 through 12, then the minute, and AM or PM. I don't need seconds in this case. I want to make sure to add a colon between the hour and minute and a space after the minute. Now with this snippet, I can instantly place the date and time into any document or web form. This can be great when you're taking down meeting or lecture notes. In the next tool over, we can add or subtract from the current time or date with a macro. For this to work, we need to make sure to add the adjustment from this menu before the date or time. So if I have a service that typically requires 13 days to complete, I can place an Add Days Adjustment and enter 13, and then enter a date like in the previous example. This time I'm going to add a day of the week as well. I'll abbreviate this as D13, and when it gets expanded, the date entered is going to be 13 days from today. 